and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for our last deck here of our 12 hour stream. This is Simic Flash. This was a donation deck to try out. This is one of the most popular decks that people are playing right now. And for good reason, every time that I play against it, it looks really strong. And I am um, been very impressed by the power of Brineborn Cutthroat and Nightpack Ambusher. Both of these cards have just looked really, really good. Flash is con consistently, you can say this like set after set after set for years, Flash is consistently the most underrated keyword when looking at uh, new cards, you know, like when you're trying to judge like how good a new card is that we haven't played w yet whenever you're just uh, looking at it. Flash is just always the most underrated thing. Um, th for example, three mana to fairy is like the anti-flash, right? Like we didn't expect three, like we thought three mana to fairy was good, but we didn't expect it to have the um, vast impact that it had on the format because of how important flash is and just how important saying you can't play flash can't play instant speed stuff um but yeah like looking at this card i was like okay brimborn cutthroat that's kind of cool little card uh, i didn't really expect it to see much play people weren't really playing instance you know with teferi around and everything but it shows how how powerful instants are like these these cards are just uh been very very strong um yeah, so this is our deck. Uh, we're going to be trying to play on our opponent's end stuff. We're going to try to counter a whole lot of things, uh, bounce some stuff, use our uh, use our instant speed creatures to just gain a lot of tempo, make it life difficult on the opponent, and close out some games. So, yeah, this specific version that we're playing isn't playing the Spectral Sailors. Um, I like those cards. I love, yeah, I really like Spectral Sailors, but this specific version. Uh, that we're playing we're not playing them um and so we're going to try without them i do like uh, i do like trying out some awakening of vitu gazi because this is a card that i haven't haven't ever played in constructed before this is gonna be my first time playing it and haven't seen too many people playing it so i like i always like trying out new cards and so i'm excited to play this one see if we get some nine nine uh trample lands do they have trample? Not trample. Never mind. No trample. I guess trample would probably be too busted. Um, all right. Let's uh let's give this a try though. Simic Flash. So it's a donation deck. So we're gonna be going over to our traditional constructed queue. Which I guess I didn't didn't have that written down as DD right there, but whatever. It is. All right, let's give this a try. Let's do a poll. How many wins do y'all think that we're going to get with this deck? Let's see what we got. There you go. Oh, dang it, I didn't do the number of seconds. Sorry, I messed up the poll. Just wait. Poll's not active right now. There you go. Now the poll started. You have to type underneath where it says poll started. Either type 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. How many wins do y'all think that we're going to get with this deck? Down, down, down. 
All right. What do we got? Hmm. So I can cut. I can cast the Cutthroat. Can't really cast anything else. We are playing twenty-five lands. We're on the draw. We just need to draw like one land before turn three to cast Sabotage. This is probably a keep. All right. Looks like most everybody says four or five. And three. Three, four, and five all have a lot of votes. Zero, one, and two have basically no votes. <laughs> all right, so we're getting one of these. Hey, Dreno. Welcome to the channel. Go, Cutthroat, go. <clears throat> you can do it. I'll just play this land they know about. So they don't have the information of our draw step. I don't have any thoughts on post-rotation decks. I haven't. I honestly haven't really been thinking about it. Just focused on our current format right now. I am not going to sit this one out. I'll protect you. I don't know who you're protecting. Not protecting yourself. Man, this deck's nice. I suppose that's how it was meant. Now we just have double frilled mystic and ambusher. Leso dead. Play to fairy against flash. They said. If you want to stop flash, play to fairy. They said. Yeah, pe people are gonna have to start adapting to this flash deck probably. Like you need, you want to, you gotta have cheap interaction, in cheap in instant speed interaction. Played, when we played our Rakdos Aristocrats deck earlier, it was really impressive against the Flash deck. We looked really good there. Like, just had so many cheap things that it was just hard for the, the Flash deck to keep up. The Flash deck in general felt very good. Or, sorry, the, the Rakdos deck in general felt really good. We had just some really close losses. There. Hey, Gatsby.
Yeah, could have yeah could have gone negate to ferry into ambush, but then you know if they have cast down on ambusher, I'll feel a little worse about that. I know my responsibility. Keep up the pace. I guess this was just lethal. I should have just countered it. Yeah, I guess I should have just countered it. It was lethal. I don't know why they didn't tuck. They had to tuck. I guess they could have instant speed removal here. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking, okay, well, Teferi's fine. We, we can easily beat that card. But then I was like, wait a minute. We have nine power there at nine. If I just counter that. But oh, well, we... We beat that pretty easily still. All right, Esper Control. So according to my little handy-dandy guide here that the... Person who made this deck has says bring in Vivian and Vela Summer and all these dinosaurs. And the negates. Cut a couple tricksters. All the unsummons. And all of the and three of the scatters. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I'm not sure if I love having all the unsummons out. Or having this awakening of Itugazi in. I feel like we maybe have just too many fours and fives. Like that's just so many four mana cards. Who gives a try though? Yeah, I don't really want to bronze it on Ascanta. Kefnet is more of a card you'd want to play when when you have proactive instants and sorceries that you want to cast. Not not really when you have counter spells. Like revealing counter spells and copying them isn't going to do you anything. No land over there. Hmm. 
Well, I was planning on going to their turn and, and having the trickster and getting a free 3-3 with the ambusher. New plan. So if they only have two mana, shifting ceratops pretty good. <laughs> New plan, smash. Yeah, content, I can do that. All right, we're one to know. One and O. Oh. Good old Flash. <laughs> the Ceratops ate their lands. Okay, yeah. I bet that's probably what happened. Yeah, just link me the deck here in chat and, you know, let me know any, like, you know, what you need help with, with the deck. What I can help you with. Mirror match. This is going to be crazy. I mean, it, it could be Nexus. But it looks like a mirror match. No attacks. V2 Gazi. V2 Gazi. No one summons over here. <laughs> Yeah, content, I'll help you out here. Go to go to this site here to paste your deck list and, and everything. There you go. There's a link for you. All right. What are we doing here? We got to be taking out oh, Mirror In? We're bringing in Awakening of the Tugazi? We got to be taking this card out. Yeah, we're we're taking this card out. We're not letting that thing get unsummoned. That card's good. Veil vale Summer's good. Yeah, I like I like Trickster Cutthroat. These cards are still good.
Maybe we want to focus this around the creatures. Let's take the negates out. Alright, let's give this a try. Man. Yeah, I gotta get these ceratops in here. Ugh. Keep. Yes. Yes. If. Yes, ex that's exactly how it works, Nova Mage. Yeah, if you cast a creature, they try to counter it. You play Veil of Summer, it negates your opponent's counter spell. And. I'm going tapped. And you draw your card. Content, did you see the the link I put in? Just go go there to that site and paste your deck list in there. No, the, the side I'm putting in the chat. I'm putting a link in the chat right now. Go there. I think we're pretty dead to these ambushers. Like we don't have a chance here, right? There's nothing there's nothing for us to do to come back, right? Like we our deck can't come back whenever we're behind like this, right?
if we don't play on summon or trickster and just play melodies? Yeah, the wolves are awesome. This is why I don't. This is why I don't believe in Ceratops because of because the wolf just um, the wolf just trumps it. So if, like they're supposed to have like some cyborg card that's just great against this deck. Whenever they have a deck like their main main deck card just trumps it. It's like what are what are we doing with these Ceratops? Selesnia tokens was awesome. It was very good. There you go. Thank you so much, content. All right, send me that. Okay, there you go. There you go. Thanks for the link there. Um, all right, so what are you struggling with with your deck here? Prefer blue mana. Cool. We just need mana. Ops are a really good draw. Really like to draw another land if my opponent just goes ambusher here. Love to be able to steal it. I do like that we're playing a high land count. Rude. Thanks, Dr. K. Oh, okay. Gotcha. We've got your red, white. There's lots of red, white, especially the faster playing decks. Okay. Alright, so I would. First thing, I'd get rid of that Immortal Phoenix card. That's not a, a card that you really want to be playing. In standard. You don't want Aid the Fallen either. Get rid of those. You want... Need more... Uh... Yeah, get like a fourth thought erasure in there. Need some more one and two mana removal. Yeah, just cards that cost one and two that you can play on turn one or two. Yeah, basically immortal, the Immortal Phoenix and the two Aid the Fallens. And the Kaya's Ghost Forms. Don't play that card either. Those all five of those cards. Should be playing just removal, discard, things things to play on turn one and two. 
Um, I don't love Mastermind's acquisition. You want to focus on a lot of cards either being a creature, like a threat, or a card affecting the battlefield. You know, like removing opponent's threats and so on. Hey, Corley. All right, we are 2-0. Oh. Yeah, Murder and Mastermind's very slow. There's a lot of good, better removal. Kind of take a look at... Just take a look at, like, Grixis decks. You know, on the site and just other... Other blue-black, blue-red, red-black. You know, just kind of look at... You know, just go to... Go through, like, the the standard metagame there. Kind of look at other deck lists and you can kind of see like some of the spells that other people are playing. For other like commons and uncommons and stuff. Maybe you may have like some other stuff in your collection that you can put in there. Yeah, it's all about, yeah, that, that mirror looked all about like the dinos and the, the wolves. All about the, the ambush, or, like the four mana creatures. Have more of those. So if I let that resolve and just play the Awakening of Itsugazi, you know, <clears throat> later. Wait. This thing that gives haste? Dang it, why didn't I keep the land? Ah. Alright, played too fast there. That's alright, they're dead. Burning up here. I've always wanted to make a really big fireball. V2 Gazi. Expensive sorcery speed stuff. Not the best to play. Okay. So I think we're going to probably sideboard this like it was... 
Esper, I'm guessing. Yeah. I don't know if I really want the Shifting Ceratops. I don't think I do. Essence Scatter is probably just for Nicol Bolas, the Ravager. They could have Kefnet. So maybe that's not enough cards for Essence Scatter. Let's get you in here. You're red. Let's get you in here, too. Let's do that. I want to get this other Vitsugazi in here, actually. Yeah, Vitugazi being an island. <laughs> yeah, it's just a really large island. Ugh, my body's starting to wear down. Streaming too long. Um, yeah, we'll draw land. I got three more matches to win real quick. It's a good deck to win some quick matches. That's a big island. It's a big Vitugazi. This Vitugazi was sweet. So big. Nine nine. <laughs> hey, hey, Tread. Glad to have you here. Thanks for catching the live stream. Three and O. Oh. No, King J, your deck loves you. I'd say get get the Shivan Fires back in there. I'd say cut the clear of the mind and the mausoleum secrets. Get those Shivan Fires that you took out. Get those back in there. Gotta have things that kill the opponent's creatures on turn one and two. Things that cost one or two mana that kill the opponent's creatures. Like right now you have nothing before murder to kill an opponent's creature. You want like four or five spells that cost one or two mana that kills an opponent's creatures. Shock's good. Yeah, play Shock. Shock's good. Do I keep this hand? No, I don't keep this hand. Ugh, give me back that other hand.
Well, normally I'd be shocking in here, but I don't really want to against Mono Red. Yeah, the, the really fast decks are, are going to be what give us trouble. The, the really slow decks we're going to be very good against. So it's just kind of like where our opponent's deck is on that spectrum. Yeah. We're going to kind of struggle against decks that are going under us. There's a lot better chance that Syncopate's going to be dead than the Essence Scatter later. Obviously, if my opponent plays, you know, like, Experimental Frenzy, like, right now. Land. Ugh, gross. We're playing 25 lands. Obviously, that's, like, a killer, because I don't have anything now. Gobos! Hey, we're playing against goblins. There's the land. That would be nice to find last turn. You cavalcade of calamity? What am I supposed to do about cavalcade of calamity? Yep. Calamity goblins. Alright. Yeah, you got me. I guess I'm going to be stealing their things. I mean, Ceratops is a good blocker. Am I supposed to be taking out... Give me this bit too, Gazi. Am I supposed to be taking out a Frilled Mystic? Definitely don't want Syncopate. It's pretty hard. Later on, for Syncopate to do something. Unsummon, all their creatures are just so cheap. I don't think Unsummon is where we want to be. And then do we cut some negates? Cut. I think it's some negates. Could be Frilled Mystic, too. Well, Mystic can trade for like two spells though. I really like that. I want to cut it a scatter and a gate. Or a sabotage. Yeah, I would rather play Frilled Mystic than Sabotage. Yeah, let's get Sabotage out of here. Why well, Vitugazi in? Because it's huge. It's a 9 9. Like it's going to be. Like they just, they just can't kill it. Yeah, they just can't kill a 9 9. And it's. Can win the game quickly. Sure, they can chump block it a lot, but it could be worth a lot of cards. All right, it's a lot better than our five card hand. Oh, just why is it in our deck in general? To win games, I would suppose. I suppose. I suppose it does a good job of winning games. Winning games is pretty cool. I guess I should have countered the Firebrand. I just want to get the Cutthroat in play. And just get the Cutthroat in play. But I guess these Scatters are just going to be dead. I 
Yeah, we did get to counter the calamity. If I go cutthroat scatter the firebrand the cutthroat. Go mystic. Let's go mystic. Yeah, the problem with going cutthroat cutthroat scatter is the firebrand. I guess I should have scatter that firebrand. Hopefully they just attack out and I get a block firebrand. I would like that. I will trade. Three for one. Trade the Frilled Mystic for three things. Good job, Frilled Mystic. Perfect. All right. Looks like we got this. It's looking good at least. I guess they outrace us though. If they just sit back and activate Banneret all the time. Yeah, they just sit back and activate banner at a bunch. That'll do it. Good fast games here. I'll let that one resolve. <laughs> good old puppy doggos. Okay. So I think I need all these. I think we maybe we need these ceratops on the draw. We're probably not going to be able to to counter all of these things. I definitely don't want the negates. Maybe I'm just not supposed to play the cutthroats. We're basically going to need to do a lot of blocking. Maybe this is... Hmm. I don't know. Frilled Mystic actually did a good job. I guess we're still playing these cards. Sabotage is expensive. Let me get Sabotage out of here. Oh yeah, Cavalcade is rough. Um, yeah, they can play Cavalcade on their turn too before I have Negate. Even, I just, yeah. Cavalcade's gonna be rough.
Hmm. I meant to click keep. I meant to click keep there. Now, what am I doing? Like, am I going to five? I guess we're doing this. Sorry, dealing with something in the chat here for just a second. Yep, Calamity's rough. Alright, got the scatter. So we, hit, we have the way to destroy Calamity, so that's good. We're not in the worst spot. So I guess I have to... I don't know how I'm going to win this. I mean, we got to destroy the Calamity. But then we still can't really block because of the Shaman. just another like I feel like Reclamation Sage is just much much better than Brontodon in every single time I ever see it. Brontodon is just so slow and you have to sacrifice it and just would basically always rather have Reclamation Sage. GG's. So, meant to keep the first hand. I don't know if the first hand was still beating this, though. But this hand definitely wasn't. Alright, 3-1. Yeah, it could be playing Sir Yulin Drake in this deck. Um... I mean, it would be very good in that matchup, in that Cavalcade of Calamity matchup. 
that's not one that I'm expecting to see too often, but um, that's uh, that's the kind of thing that we talked about. Uh, the best way to beat the Summit Clash deck is to go under it, and that opponent was very good at going under. All right, three and one. We're back, we're focused. We're still mulliganing. Forest. The best feeling deck that we've played today. Say, so I was really impressed with the Selesnya tokens that we played. Beat a lot of good decks with that. Yeah, I'd probably say the Selesnya tokens. On deck. Stop giving us lands. Yeah, Esper Flyers was a lot of fun. It was definitely very good against um, aggro, and we had some good pairings there, getting paired up against aggro a lot. But Esper does give that deck a little bit better game against normal control decks, also giving like a lot of discard and stuff. Yeah, not too great of a Nexus hand. We had two counter spells, but that's it. We really use some Frilled Mystics. Or just more lands. This unsummons just a dead card. We're really on a, mulli a mulligan to five that gave us seven lands. Well, the Unsummon did something. Kept them from drawing a card. Off a of blink of an eye. So that's cool. T-S-Y, or Cyrus? There we go, it's Cyrus. Thank you so much for that resub, Cyrus. I appreciate that. That's our 17th subscriber of the day. We are three away from hitting another goal. Yeah, Essence Scatter is a, it's good in a lot of matchups, not this one here. Fo Fa 29 or Fo 29? Maybe Fo. Probably Fo.
Thank you for that support as well, though, 29. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Rec yes, with the Nexus deck, you should be focused on countering Reclamation, not Nexus. Reclamation is a much more powerful card. You want to you want to get rid of Nex. You don't need to counter Nexus at all. You need to counter Reclamation and then the the cards that that dig them really far quickly with the Azcanta, Tamio. Those are the things you need to counter. Need to get the card advantage engines. I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. So they're gonna have, they're gonna have just all their Veil of Summers in this matchup. They're just gonna have tons and tons of Veil of Summers. Um, I guess if we just take out Scatter and Unsummon, we have to put in something else. I mean, maybe. Maybe we Veil of Summer? Because, I mean, obviously we don't want Scatter on Summon. I guess we just go with this. Is Ceratops better than Trickster, basically? I guess it is. This thing's just not going to kill very quickly, right? Maybe a combination, so it's just not all big top stuff. Let's try that. They can't bounce Ceratops. They can block it with the Amass token. If they're playing Biogenic Ooze, that'll be bad for me because I just took out my scatters. They could block it there. Why five lands? Probably should have cut a land. Well, I really like these two cards. I really like them. And I could certainly see my opponent playing slower to, to play around counter magic. I would not have kept this on the draw, but I... I think my opponent could be playing slower here, and maybe we get some gain from that. So yeah, kept the hand with the basically we had we had our land drops and we had we had an actual way to win the game with these. All we were missing was was just the interaction. We had two of our three. Alright, so that's Veil of Summer. Talents are worth cataloging. That is very Veil of Summer. I think you will find my notes helpful. Let's get this ambusher in.
What are these two cards are great. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Double root snare. It may not be over. I mean, if they have if they have root snare plus, we we know they have veil of summer. So root snare, root snare, veil of summer, and something else. All right. Well, now it's over. Unless they have double. Boom. And that's how you play around Veil of Summer. It just didn't matter at that point whether they drew a card or not. It really didn't matter. They had one, one blue mana available. Couldn't do anything with it. I mean, unless they were playing on summon, and they just drew into on summon. Um, the boar god deck. I haven't seen a boar god deck. Too much. Kind of want to play a couple scatters instead of the tricksters. Instead of these ceratops. Yeah, we are on the draw. We could probably remove a land. Maybe not. We'll get rid of a Trickster and the Vivian. I think, I, I think my opponent already played the land. Pretty sure they did. That last turn. Well, good thing we didn't remove our lands. That part, if that was Rex Age, I would have kept it. Brontodon is just so much worse. Well, maybe I wouldn't have kept it. But yeah, we can't pay three mana to like play something main phase and then another mana to destroy. An enchantment. It's just wait, you know, like if they if they would have just like spent four mana on reclamation, we need to destroy reclamation immediately. That's one thing I'd recommend about the deck: just get get Bronson on out of here. Yeah, Bruzy day is going very well. Had an awesome stream today. Ooh, Crushing Canopy is not bad. Give you an instant. Drop 
Sure. We didn't have lethal attacking, so it's fine. Of course, our opponent's kind of just playing that there because they're, as you can see here, like they're kind of stuck on lands. They need to get cards out of their hand also. What are you doing, opponent? Oh, no, it's only 13 for us? Okay, that's not lethal. Oh, well, I should have countered that then, I guess. I, I thought we had lethal. Oh, well. Yeah, so I, I should have just played one of these things. I think we're fine, though. I think we're fine. All right, four and one. Yeah, surprised surprise we recovered after I didn't counter that. All right, let's get to the final boss. Man, this deck is fast. This deck plays some fast games, that's for sure. Yeah, Ambusher, so good. So, so good. So is the Cutthroat, both of those. Those two cards just end game so fast. As long as we're playing against a slower deck, we are good. Hello. Why do you need to make the wolves better? I said, how can we make wolves better? Why... Our wolves are already awesome. They're amazing. I don't really need to make them better. Yeah, this could be feather deck. Nope, maybe not. Use a sabotage to try to look for a land. That's not a land. Good sabotage. Perfect. Ooh, Zakama time. Thanks, Amnesiac. Do you need to like get the syncopate out of my hand before it doesn't do anything? It's 
Sunbird's invocation is sweet. Okay, is White Weenie and Mono Blue better than Gruel on ladder at the moment? Not really. I think they're all about the same, you know, very similar. It's kind of, you know, matchups of like what you play against and everything. I wouldn't really say that any of those are necessarily better than others kind of thing. Yeah, I've been liking liking the awakening of Vitugazi. Kills people very fast. It's no nonsense. Speaking of awakening of Itugazi, let's get one in here and get more negates and ether gust. Um, I guess I just want scatters over on summons. No, we didn't see any creatures to counter. Maybe two scatter, one on summon. Okay, you could cap. Okay, you could craft one gruel deck, or you just make two decks mono blue and white weenie. Okay, um, about mono white mono blue and white weenie. Both of those are losing a ton. Uh, like the both like neither of those are probably going to be decks after rotation. Okay, so both mono blue and white weenie, you'll you'll only be able to play those those decks really for two months. Um, uh, it's not likely that our opponent has four wins. You don't always get paired against people. In fact, you, it's, it's a lesser chance that you get paired against somebody with the same record than not. It's more likely, it's more likely that you get paired against somebody with a different record. So it's like, like our opponent is very likely. zero and O right now happens all the time. Um, so this is, this is probably their first match. We don't know the exact day of rotation right now. At least if it was announced, I don't, I don't know about it, but, um, I would say it's likely at the end of September, which is like two months and a week, basically. So you you have, yeah, like just a, not definitely not three months, but a little bit over two months, somewhere in there. So just want to give you that information, you know, before you make your decision, um, if. If you're going to enjoy those decks for those two and a half months and you and you like them and everything, go for it. But if you're somebody that like, you know, if you're like some people are like the maybe the kind of player that like whatever deck that they craft, they have to stick with that deck. You know, like they don't have like any like more resources to put in or anything like that. So just letting you know that there may be more tools in the Gruul deck for after rotation. So that's it's so it's your your choice from there. Let's get the syncopate out of our hand. Before the treasure map flips and they get all the treasures. Okay, yeah, if you're going to be busy in the fall and you don't mind, then yeah, just do just do do the two decks then. So then you can kind of switch it up if you feel like playing one deck one day and another deck the other day so you don't have to play the same deck for all two months. Sounds good. Man. 
This Simic Flash deck is mean. I feel like I've just been feeling bad for our opponents. I've just been stomping them so hard. I feel bad for them. Like they just don't have a chance. I guess they could be playing some big uncounterable thing. Yeah, that's, that's just kind of how counter spells are. So rude. Absolutely, X, Y, L, R. Absolutely. Always. Yep, we went from no board to a three turn clock backed up by all these counter spells on their end step. Hmm. I guess we try to go for lethal, just have the negate here, but. And that is it. That's a very fast five win league. Very good deck. That was pretty brutal. So just lost to the Cal Cavalcade of Calamity deck. Um, got hurt the game three. by clicking the wrong button with the sideboarding also. So yeah, uh, yeah. any changes I would make? Um, first of all, yeah, I wouldn't play Bronzedon. I would, I would get Bronzedon out of there for Reclamation Sage. I honestly did kind of like how we had 25 lands. A lot of people in chat are saying that like 25 lands is too uh, too many. But I liked having the 25 lands. Like we we had like the higher curve and we were like hitting our land drops all the time. It was nice. Um and the thing is, is I really did miss having the siren. Like really wish we had that card. What is this? Okay, not a siren. It's a pirate. Spectral. Sailor. The Sailor. Wish we had Sailor in here. My least favorite card in the main deck was the Unsummons. We didn't really play against creature decks too much, though. But the Unsummons didn't feel very good. So, ugh, maybe an Unsummon for a Sailor. Um, yeah, and someone does bounce your own Frilled Mystic. That is a nice, neat party trick that you get to do. I wasn't too impressed with Unsummon. Wish we had this card, but I don't know. I guess we didn't really feel like we needed it, I suppose. Yeah, it just wasn't, it just, yeah, the Unsummon was, yeah, I think it's a, it's a good card to have in the deck, don't get me wrong, it just, in the games that we played, it wasn't necessary in any of the games that we played, but I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, it's, it's a bad card in the deck, I'm not trying to say that. Um... Sideboard-wise... Let's see. Vivian? I guess Vivian's for control. Hmm. I don't know. Everything seemed to work out pretty well. Is 
it's possible you need to start playing more Vale of Summers if, you know, like this kind of matchup is taking over. Maybe. I don't know. We just didn't really, we didn't really struggle against anything. So it's kind of hard, uh, you know, because yeah, we we played against a lot of control, and that's that's what we did. We played against a lot of control and big mana decks, and we just kind of ran them over. And so, um, I don't really have a, a lot of great suggestions here. Uh, no, we never. I don't think we ever played Ether Gust. Um, don't think we ever did that. The Awakening of Intugazi was actually pretty sweet. It just just ended game so fast. You know, like we we're countering stuff. Opponents are like playing a little slower, trying to play around counter spells. And then we're just like end step nine nine, and then untap, hit you for nine, and then we have like the counter spells to protect it. And they were just dead. And they're like, oh man, I'm dead. So honestly, the the Awakening of Intugazi was pretty cool. It was definitely really good against like the the control decks, though. I don't know if it'd be as good against creature decks. They would have, you know, like if we played against. Like we didn't, for example, we didn't play against like teamer elementals, and I don't think this awakening card would be that great there, where they'd have like some good chump blockers and everything. And I'm not sure if like is unsummon good against te teamer elementals. I don't know. I'm not sure. Like that that was a matchup that we didn't really get to face. That didn't get to really. Um, uh, see, and yeah, awakening Vitugazi stops the um the ceratops in, in its tracks if you're worried about ceratops if that's like a card that if you're playing this deck and you're worried about ceratops boom just make a nine nine just block it and just eat eat it up heat up some ceratops here we did play against a mono red uh cavalcade of calamity deck and they went underneath us with just all one mana uh creatures and caval cavalcade so that was our loss that was kind of tough. Um, yeah, that was our loss there. But all right, that's Simic Flash. Very solid deck there. All right, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed all the decks today here on this 12-hour stream today. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there on YouTube. I would appreciate that. If you are watching right now in Twitch chat, you can head on over to the YouTube channel and see any of the decks that you missed today. They're youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. And, of course, comment, like, uh, all that kind of stuff. Thanks, Techstar. Thanks for that sub there. Our 19th sub of the day. We're actually one more sub away from a sub goal and cracking a pack. Maybe we'll get that one more subscriber before we get out the door here. Um, but anyway, for Simic Flash, uh, again, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.